Hi guys, my name is Luca and in today's tutorial I will show you how to manage Android devices from your PC in Dr. Phone. So let's get started. There are two ways to connect your Android device to a PC. The first way to connect the device to a PC is by using a cable connection. The second way is to connect wirelessly by installing the Dr. Phone link up on your Android. Scan the QR code and connect your device to the platform successfully. All this can be done across My Device section. Once connected, multiple functions can be performed to manage the data of the Android device. First, I will show you how to access Android Photos. After connecting your Android, head into the Android device and then click on Photos on the left side. To add photos to your Android device, click on Add and then on Add Files. After that, select the photos you want to add. Now I will show you how to transfer photos from phone to PC. First mark the photos you want to transfer and then click on the To PC option. Choose the destination folder where you want the photos to be stored, then click on the OK button to confirm your selection. You can preview the photo by clicking on the photo twice, then you can rotate the photo or enlarge it. If you want you can easily delete the photo by clicking on the delete button. Dr. Phone is great for managing videos on your Android device and now I'm going to show you how. To access videos on your device, click on the video section on the left. Just as you can add photos, you can easily add videos by clicking on the add button and select the videos you want to add. You can export the videos by selecting them and then click on to PC option. Select the folder and then click OK. You can change the viewing aspect of the videos with the help of the album view and list view options on the top right side of the window. You can easily delete videos from your device by selecting them and then clicking on the delete button. In this part of the video I will show you how to manage messages from your Android device. Click on the Messages section on the left side of the screen. In the All Messages section you can import messages from your PC. If you want to export messages to your PC, simply mark the messages you want, click on Export and select the format. After selecting the folder, click on OK. If desired, you can effortlessly delete or print messages. When you click on the message, the entire chat will be open on the right side. In the attachment section, you will find all the files you received in messages. You can easily export the files to your computer in just a few seconds. In Dr. Phone, you can access your call history on the left side of the screen. If you want, you can easily export or print your call history details. To access files from your device, click on the File section in the left panel. To import data into this section, take the help of the Add File button. Now select a file from your PC. To export a file from your device, first select the file and then click on Export. Select the folder and then click OK. If you want to add a folder, click on the New Folder button. You can remove any file you don't need by marking it and then clicking the delete button. To access the calendar from your Android device, click on the calendar section in the left panel. The complete calendar of the Android device can be easily exported or printed. In this part of the video I will show you how to manage music from your Android device. First, find the music section from the left under your device. If you want to add music from your computer, click on the Add button and Add Files. Now find the music you want to add. 
If you want, you can easily remove the music from your device. The great thing is that you can use Dr. Font to set your ringtone. Right click on the song and then click on Ringtone Maker. Here you can adjust your ringtone and don't forget to add fade in and fade out to make it sound better. When you have set your ringtone, click on save to device. To change the view of your music files, use the album view or list view buttons. You can easily remove all duplicate files. First click on duplicate button, the software will find duplicates and then click on delete duplicates. Now I will show you how to manage your contacts. First click on contacts under your device on the left side and then enter the necessary information and save. On the right side you can quickly add a new contact if that's easier for you. To add contacts from your PC, click on import and then select the format in which your file is. Then click on browse and find your file. To export the contacts from your PC, first mark them and then click on export and select the format. Now click on save. If necessary, click on the Merge button to get rid of duplicate contacts in your account. After that, click on Merge Contacts. Managing apps has never been easier. After connecting your device, click on the apps in the left panel. If you want, you can install new apps here. To remove an app from your Android device, select the app and then click on Uninstall. You can also export any app or its settings using the Export button. Now select Folder and then click on Save. In the left panel you can find the WhatsApp section. Here you can see all your WhatsApp messages. You can easily export them as a PDF file and now I will show you how. Select one chat and then click on export and select export to PDF. Select the folder in which you want to export the file and then click on OK. This is what my PDF file looks like after exporting. Here you can access photos from your WhatsApp. You can also access videos, music and other files from your WhatsApp. Don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Fon's YouTube channel and thanks for watching.